Hello everyone and welcome to my bookshelf tour. I will be showing all of you guys my books that are on my shelves as well as some knickknacks that I have placed randomly throughout it. Now some of the books on my shelves I did put in a specific order and put every like similar books together like one shelf I have like my series together another shelf just author whole thing and then um there's one that's like a children's shelf and there's like poetry and plays and like short stories and that kind of stuff other than that i don't really have a specific way of organizing them so without further ado let's get into the books we want to start on the first bookshelf up top we have a old telephone and a old polaroid camera and then we go over here to the second shelf we have this on air sign it lights up batteries are dead right now and my polaroid camera that i recently bought two years ago and it's broken so that's fun and then we have this eiffel tower and then this doctor strange multiverse of madness popcorn bucket that i got at the premiere that's what's on top and then we can go ahead and Get started on the first shelf on the first bookcase. Okay, so this is my first bookshelf on the first bookcase. We have some Umbrella Academy Funko Pops. I have the rest of them sporadically on the different bookshelf. I have all of them from season one, except Ben, who is from season two. So we have Klaus, Fania, it's now Victor. And then we have a little Rapunzel Disney Infinity figurine that's just there. Sitting on top, a little Pirates of the Caribbean candle that smells like the water from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. It smells really good. And then I have this glass jar that I like to put dead flowers in, but there's no flowers in there right now. This bookshelf is just my paperback bookshelf all the ones that are similarly the same height so that is the way that i organize this one also in advance sorry to all of the names that i will probably be saying very wrong throughout this video okay first book Coraline by neil gaiman i also have stardust by neil gaiman that is currently lent out to a friend it would be right next to Coraline but it is not right now. The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Things in Jars by Jess Kidd. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. The Queen of the Tierling by Erica Don Hansen. The Selection by Kira Cass. State of Wonder by Anne Patchett. How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days by K.M. Jackson. Austin Land by Shannon Hale. Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. Splintered by A.G. Howard. Bella Fortuna by Rosanna Chiafalo. Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. Moving down, this is the second shelf. We have a glass jar full of flower petals, a moon drawing that I did, that's a sticker. We also have more Umbrella Academy Funko Pops, Allison and Five, and then another glass jar filled with random flower petals. And then this is basically just mass market paperbacks that I have as well as my little Lord of the Rings Tolkien collection that I have right here. First we have Dune by Frank Herbert. The Nutcracker by Alexander Dumas. Right here I have all my Outlander books and the first book in the Outlander series that I have by Diana Gabaldon. I also have the third and fourth book but I do not have the second book. So that is Voyager and Drums of Autumn. I am missing Dragonfly in the Ember. Dragonfly in the Amber. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I also did not know that this was a book. So I was surprised that this was a book. I thought it was just a movie. And it's huge. And then we have the glass jar separating these two. We also have The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is a very old edition. It's from the 70s, this one, and I don't know if it's like first, second, or third edition of like the ones that they released back then, but it's very pretty. 
and very old. This one I found at a old bookstore that just sold like old books and all that. This one, The Two Towers by J.R.L. Tolkien, I think I found at an antique store. So that's where I found them. This one is from the 80s, this cover, which has Legolas and Gimli is to continue that. I also have The Return of the King in the same edition as The Fellowship of the Ring. This is also a 70s version of the books that I also found in the same bookstore like a few years later. Happy that that was there. And before I had that book, I got this one, and I have no clue if this is a first edition or like second edition when the books first came out. This is The Return of the King. I found this on Amazon. I really do not know if this is a first or second edition of the book, but if it is, wow. And this one I got by accident. I was supposed to get the cover of that Return of the King and this one came instead. So I mean like I'm not complaining about it if it is first or second edition, but I'm just shocked that I have it and I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm trying to find all of like the ones that look like these two and like I just need the Two Towers and The Hobbit as well. Continuing off of my little Tolkien section, I have these books all by David Day and they're different insight into the world that Tolkien created. Like this one is a dictionary. We have a Battles of Tolkien, we have the Dark Powers of Tolkien, Heroes of Tolkien, and then Tolkien and Illustrated Atlas. So if you're a fan of Tolkien, you did not know these exist. They do. They're by David Day. The shelf below that. This one. This is my children's shelf with all my children's books on it. I also have some bookmarks over here in the corner that I made. And I have this. Whoop. We have Shang-Chi over here. The bookmark that I made of him. Then we have this tree farm candle. Another Umbrella Academy Funko Pop. Luther, this little crystal right here, and then a jar full of dead flowers. Over here to start off we have my Frederick Chronicles series, book one, The Field Guide, book two, The Scene Stone, book three, Lucinda's Secret, book four, The Ironwood Tree. I absolutely love Mallory's outfit and everything. This cover is so pretty. I want to recreate this dress. This whole outfit. Just, Book five, The Wrath of Mulgarath, all by Tony Drizzle and Holly Black. And then there is a spin-off series to the Spiderwick Chronicles called Beyond the Spiderwick Chronicles, also by Tony Drizzle and Holly Black. This is book one, the Nike song. This is the only one that I have so far. This series is only three books long, and they're with different kits, as you can see on the cover. Those are not Jared, Simon, or Mallory. But yeah, these are good too. So if you like the Spiderwick Chronicles, I recommend getting or checking out the Beyond the Spiderwick Chronicles. The Giver by Lois Lowry, The Magic Thief, The Magic Thief Lost, and The Magic Thief Found by Sarah Prinius, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, Aqua Marine by Alice Hoffman, also another movie I did not know was a book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, The Black Cauldron by Lloyd Alexander, Every Soul a Star by Wendy Mass, The Girl Who Could Fly by Victoria Forrester, Thirteen Treasures by Michelle Harrison, The Princess Trap by Kirsten Boy, Tuesdays at the Castle by Jessica Day George, The Fool's Gold, I always say this as The Fool's Gold, but it's The Fool's Girl by Celia Rees. This is a retelling of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. I don't even know if that's a children's book, but it's there. Princess Academy by Sharon Hale, The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, Tinkerbell, Two Magical Tales, The Trouble with Tink and Tink North of Neverland by Who are you by? Who wrote you? This does not have an author. What? This does not have an author on it. If I find the author, I'll put it I'll pair it with the book right here. That's so weird, it doesn't have an author on the book. The Clockwork 3 by Matthew J. Kirby. This reminds me of like Hugo Cabret. I haven't read it, but that's what it, the vibes is giving off. Then we have 
A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lin Lingel. Lingel. This is my dad's copy from, I think, the... Oh, I don't know. This is just... This, is, this was in 62, this book. This was my dad's book when he was younger, so that's why it's an old edition. So now I have it. Two copies, again, of my favorite book. You never have too many of your favorites. Serafina and the Black Cloak and Serafina and the Twisted Staff by Robert Beattie. And below that shelf is this one. This one's just randomly placed with just random books that didn't fit on other bookshelves. We have a glass jar with dead roses in it. And then we have my collection of playing cards, Avengers, Beetlejuice, and then this one. These aren't playing cards, they're a card game. Moving on to the books. We have Live and Live Fearless by Sadie Robertson. Goliath Must Fall by Louis Giglio. Faith Forward Future by Chad Veach. Crash the Chatterbox by Stephen Furtick. And Uninvited by Lisa Turkertsty. Those are all like my little Christian self-help books. Then we have the random books. Heidi by Joanna Spirey. The Art of War. By Sun Tzu. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. And We're Off by Dana Swart. Between the Lines by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. The Mermaid's Mirror by L.K. Madigan. 1984 by George Orwell. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Then I have my Wrinkle in Time box collection. I did not know that they were a five book series. I thought it was just Wrinkle in Time, but nope, it's not. A Wrinkle in Time, A Wind in the Door, A Swiftly Tilting Planet, Many Waters, and an Acceptable Time, all by Madeline Littingell. Then below that bookshelf, we have my Nancy Drew series, which is all back here. Some random photo albums. I just, oops, have right there. Encyclopedia of Tolkien, the history and mythology that inspired Tolkien's world by David Day, another one of those. More information on Tolkien books. H.P. Lovecraft, Tales of Horror. And we have some more candles. Never have too many candles or books. And then I have all my Nancy Drew books, which this isn't even the complete collection of Nancy, Nancy Drew books. I know there's like, I think another two more box sets. I don't know how many there are. There's a lot. These are the ones that I have so far. I have them all down here. Okay, so these are books one through 10. Book one, The Secret of the Old Clock. Book two, The Hidden Staircase. Book three, Bungalow Mystery. Book four, The Mystery at Lilac Inn. Book five, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Book six, The Secret of Red Gate Farm. Book seven, The Clue in the Diary. Book eight, Nancy's Mysterious Letter. Book nine, The Sign of the Twisted Candles. Book 10, Password to Lark. Berg Lane. Then we have books 11 through 20. Book 11, The Clue of the Broken Locket. Book 12, The Message in the Hollow Oak. Book 13, The Mystery of the Ivy Charm. Book 14, The Whispering Statue. Book 15, The Haunted Bridge. Book 16, The Clue of the Tapping Heels. Book 17, Mystery of the Brass Bound Trunk. Book 18, Mystery of of the Moss Covered Mansion. Book 19, The Quest of the Missing Map. Book 20, The Clue and the Jewelry Box. And lastly, books 21 through 30. Book 21, The Secret in the Old Attic. Book 22, The Clue and the Crumbling Wall. Book 23, The Mystery of the Tolling Bell. Book 24, The Clue in the Old Album. Book 25, The Ghost of Blackwood Hall. Book 26, The Clue of the Leaning Chimney. Book 27, The Secret of the Wooden Lady. Book 28, The Clue of the Black Keys. Book 29, Mystery at the Ski Jump. And lastly, Book 30, The Clue of the Velvet Mask, all by Carolyn Keene. This is the first shelf on my second bookcase. Here we have some of my hardback classics. 
with some random paperbacks in here that just kind of look like they're the more interesting ones where you're like, whoa, what's going on? Honestly, these just look really nice together, so I put them together and they're the same height in paperbacks. So there we go. The rest are just random hardback books that are all the same height, so that's how that is organized. And then we have a little bobblehead Ray Funko Pop and then the Scarlet Witch little bookmark that I made that is being held up by my nail polish collection. Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. The Adventures and the Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Colin Doyle. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgkinson. Burnett. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab, Crossings by Alex Landragon. This book is very, very intriguing. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelins, The Prestige by Christopher Priest, which I did not know was a book, and it is, and I love the movie. And it's a book. Very interesting. I thought Christopher Nolan came up with that idea by himself, but this, this Christopher did. Christopher Priest. The Invention of Hugo Cabre by Brian Selznick. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Haunting of Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Inland by Kat Rosenfield. Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll. Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Landon. Well, moving down from that shelf, we have my shelf that is basically just all of my Agatha Christie novels that I got at a random yard sale that this church in my town was having and there's like a bunch of different books there and all of these Agatha Christie books were there and they were like five cents each for the book so I just grabbed each of them that was not a duplicate copy so that is how I acquired all of these and I have not read any of these so if any of you have read any of these and want to let me know which one I should start reading first gladly appreciate because I don't know which one I want to read first we have on here more Umbrella Academy Fungo Pops, Diego Bin, and then we have this little masquerade mask, as well as these opera glasses that I found at an antique store. And underneath the masquerade mask, we have another candle, this one's cider and oak. And then over here, we have Wanda as a mermaid, little sticker, and then a little jar with some baby's breath in it. Okay, starting off, we have two books that are not Agatha Christie's. We have Gone with the Wind by Margaret Michelle and Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. I got this one and the Gone with the Wind. The same place where I got all these, the yard sale thing. And this one is missing a few pages from the beginning of the book, but um, you know, just gonna keep it anyways. In the first newer editions of Agatha Christie's novels, we have And Then There Were None. Also, I have all my Agatha Christie books except for And Then There Were None because it's not the same mass market paperback like old edition but they are all in alphabetical order and then all of these are by miss agatha christie herself we have 13 at dinner 13 for luck the abc murders appointment with death at bertram's hotel black coffee the body in the library the burden by the pricking of my thumbs cards on the table dead man's mirror death comes as the end halloween party this one, I always say I'm going to read every October, and then I don't. Hopefully this year I will, actually, though, so. The Mirror Cracked, The Mouse Trap, The Moving Finger, Mr. Parker Pine Detective, Murder with Mirrors, Murder in Retrospect, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, The Mysterious Affair at Styles, The Mysterious Mr. Quinn, In or M, Ordeal by Innocence, Partners in Crime, Passenger to Frank for Peril at End House, Postern of Fate, Remembered Death, The Secret Adversary, The Secret of Chimneys, Sleeping Murder, and lastly, we have Why Didn't They Ask Evans. And then the shelf below that one, we have my series 
shelf, one of my series shelf. This one is the one with all black covers, as you can tell. We have this flesh jar with some fake flowers this time, an Edward Cullen bookmark, as well as a Peter Parker bookmark that I made over there with my whole... And then he goes, my whole little collection of bookmarks right in there. Midnight Sun, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, Breaking Dawn, The Twilight Saga, The Official Illustrated Guide, all by Stephanie Meyer. Then we have my favorite series, Three Dark Crowns, One Dark Throne, Two Dark Reigns, and Five Dark Fates, all by Kendara Blake. Then we have my other collection of Lord of the Rings books, The Samarillion, The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. And lastly, we have on the shelf, The Atlas Six by Olive e. Blake. This is my other series shelf. We have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, Always and Forever Laura Jean, all by Jenny Han. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and Restore Me, all by Tahara Mafi. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Book 1, The Lightning Thief, Book 2, The Sea of Monsters, Book 3, The Titan's Curse, Book 4, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and Book 5, The Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. Ink Heart and Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins. Darkness Falls, Immortal Beloved by Kate Tiernan. The Beautiful by Renee Audier. And then below that, we have all my like coffee table books. We have comic books and graphic novels, and then just big books that didn't fit anywhere else. We have this book on fashion, a history from the 18th to the 20th century, all on fashion. This, the Disney book, a celebration of the world of Disney, the Marvel Age of Comics, 1961 to 1978. Back to the Future, the ultimate visual history, The Lorax by Dr. Seuss, my favorite Dr. Seuss book, Shakespeare, a coloring book, Marvel, absolutely everything you need to know, the graphic novel of The Hobbit, by J.R.R. Tolkien, Rydell, the little magazine that she made a long while ago, Dimensions Behind the Twilight Zone, a backstage tribute to television's groundbreaking series by Stuart T. Stanyard, forward by Neil Gaiman. And then we have my Marvel graphic novels, The Amazing Spider-Man, Big Time, The Avengers, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Avengers. Then we have of course, the Umbrella Academy, Apocalypse Suite. This is the only one I have so far. I need to get the other ones. All because of the TV show, which is my favorite, as, as if you can already tell. We have a variety of comic books right here. Most of those were given to me by my grandpa. We have this little Spider-Man book. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, A Treasury of Favorite Poems. This has all of Jane Austen's seven novels in it. Then we have Classic Tales of Horror. This shelf right here is on my third bookcase. First shelf, it is all of my CD collection. Red, Taylor's version. Folklore by Taylor Swift. 1989 by Taylor Swift. Red by Taylor Swift. Original version. Speak Now by Taylor Swift. Fearless. Original version by Taylor Swift. Fearless Karaoke by Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift by Taylor Swift. Rare by Selena Gomez. Revival by Selena Gomez. Stars Dance by Selena Gomez. When the Sun Goes Down by Selena Gomez and the Scene. A Year Without Rain by Selena Gomez and the Scene. Kiss and Tell by Selena Gomez and the Scene. Day and Night by The Vamps. Day Edition. Day and Night. Oh, I did not know that. Day and Night by The Vamps. Night Edition. I didn't know that they were the exact same thing but different editions. Wow. Wake Up by the vamps meet the vamps by the vamps sometime last night by r5 louder by r5 happiness begins by the jonas brothers a little bit longer by the jonas brothers five seconds of summer young blood hello my name is bridget mindler by bridget mindler hayla kin by ellie golding the first time by kelsey ballerini lemonade mouth by Lemonade Mouth. If you've never watched Lemonade Mouth, go watch it. It's such a good movie. It has such good music. Josie and the Pussycats by Josie and the Pussycats. Into the Woods by the cast of Into the Woods. 
I love Agony from this. Oh, it's my favorite song from the, from the soundtrack. If you like Chris Pine, go listen to him sing Agony. He sings in that. Just, just go listen. It's like two minutes. It's such a good song. We have Tangled by the cast of Tangled. Frozen by the cast of Frozen. <laughs> we also have a Disney's Greatest Hit, High School Musical 2. Then we have High School Musical 2, what time it is. Yeah, there's a big crack right there. Just ignore that. But this is just the single, what time it is. I got this. I don't even know how I got this. It says it was available for a limited time. I don't know where. I might have got this at Walmart. But yeah, they just released this one and I got it. So I have this and the actual album. Then we have High School Musical. Then we have my favorite Hannah Montana album, Hannah Montana 2. And Meet Miley Cyrus, See You Again is like one of my favorite songs. Then we have Hannah Montana, the first album. Then we have That's So Raven 2, Cody Simpson, Paradise, Justin Bieber, Believe, Acoustic, Believe by Justin Bieber. And then right over here, I have Kindle that needs to be charged that I never use. Then we have this. CD case I got from one of my cheer competitions and it just has a various amount of music. Also my old cheer music. Oh, there's that in there. But yeah, that just has a bunch of random other CDs in there. And then I have Lover by Taylor Swift Deluxe Album Version 3 with all the little notes in there. I wish I got this in the regular CD because I don't, even though it's cool, I don't like how the CD is just in the back of it. but. That is it for there. Okay, and moving down from that, we have this shelf, and this is basically my short story, fairy tale, plays, poetry books, and those are just there. <laughs> so, first off, we have this little jar that is filled with dead flowers, this little Harley Quinn bookmark that I made, and then we have some little letter stationery to write with right there. Then starting over here, we have the Grimm's Fairy Tales, the complete Grimm's Fairy Tales. I got this at a thrift store. It I didn't know how many fairy tales that the Grimm's brothers actually made, which that's a lot compared to the little that they store in here. So I was shocked by that much. It was like 600, 800 pages. 800 pages. That's a lot that the Grimm Brothers wrote. And then these little Reader's Digest anthology books of the world's best fairy tales. This has the Brothers Grimm's, Hans Christian Andersen, and others, but those are just to name two that I know of that have fairy tales stories in here. And there's many more. There's all in that one, and then it comes with a another one. This one's a little bit thicker with a little bit more. And I like how it makes Hansel and Gretel going into the witch's gingerbread cottage. Then, starting on the plays that I have, we have <laughs> Star Wars William Shakespeare. This one is The Empire Striketh Back. These are all by Ian Doscher. These are really cool if you like Star Wars and Shakespeare. These are the perfect books for you. And they're so short, but it literally says everything the whole movies but they're written as if shakespeare wrote them they're so good if you like star wars and shakespeare or if you just like star wars these are such a cool thing to have they have all nine movies by the way i just have only three right now and then i also have william shakespeare's star wars which is this one's a new hope this one should have been in the front but i also have the clone army attacketh also by ian doscher let me put that it goes. Then we have actual Shakespeare plays. I have all the No Fear editions of Shakespeare's plays. I like these the best. If you don't know what they are, they are, as it says at the top, it has Shakespeare on one side and then plain English on the other, which is very nice if you want to understand what Shakespeare was saying. I highly suggest that you also listen to an audiobook of the plays because I did that for a Midsummer's Night stream and it helps you kind of understand the way that it's written is made for a play anyway, so rather than just reading the screenplay. But yeah, so this one's Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. The only one I have not read, well actually, we also have Hamlet, and I only read half of it. And then the one I read for fun, and it's my favorite play by William Shakespeare so far that I have read, is A Midsummer's, A Midsummer Night's Dream. I always say that wrong. This one's my favorite. And then we have my edition of Romeo and Juliet that I used in high school by William Shakespeare. 
I have all my notes still in there. Which I really want to reread Romeo and Juliet, but have it in the the fear edition. Haven't got that yet. Then moving on, we have my poetry right here. First poetry book we have is Found by Hannah Ruth Murray, my lovely friend. She wrote her own poetry book and published it last year. Oh my gosh, yeah, last year. Wow. But it's so good. If you like poetry, you should check this out. It is on Amazon. If you like poetry, you want to check it out, highly suggest it. Next is The Dark Between Stars by Atticus. Light filters in poems by Carolyn Kaufman. This one that I did not know exist is Voices. The Final Hours of Joan of Arc by David Elliott. This is poems that Joan of Arc herself wrote. Half are ones that like she actually wrote and then some are just like ones that I guess that he wrote got based off of hers. I don't know. I haven't read it yet but I'm so intrigued by them. My Greenhouse Poetry by Bella Mayo. I Hope You Stay by Courtney Peppernell. Homebody by Rupi Carr. Then we have my absolutely favorite, Emily Dickinson, my favorite poet. Love her to death. These are selected poems of Emily Dickinson, and I have two copies of these because my wonderful friend got me one for Christmas, and I already had another copy, but now I have two. I have double the love of Emily Dickinson with her beautiful words right here. So yes, I have two. You can never have too many of your favorite books or books by your favorite author. You never can. I have three copies of the Lord of the Rings books. The truth universally acknowledged. Then we have Emily Dickinson envelope poems. These are literal poems that she wrote on envelopes. And that is how she normally wrote her poems, would just be on random pieces of envelopes laying around her house and this is her handwriting on the envelopes that she wrote and then they have all over here that you can actually read what she wrote and these are so cool there's like a whole bunch it's just the coolest thing ever if you like Emily Dickinson like me this I highly recommend you getting this just like as a little thing just to like have it's so cool to have like her poems all like in here of like what she wrote and see like how she wrote them down it's so cool i love this it's like my favorite thing ever that was also given to me for christmas by another one of my wonderful friends and i like freaked out <laughs> i was like what i didn't even know this existed anyways yes <laughs> this was also a gift with that book this is hope is the thing a collection of poems by emily dickinson illustrated by evan robertson this is a beautiful collection of emily's works but they're accompanied by such wonderful cool amazing art like ugh, look at that it's so cool and it's so pretty to look at all the different things accompanied with her poems very cool then we have this the little er museums of paris an illustrated guide to the city's hidden gems by emma jacobs this is such a beautiful little hardback of all this information and little watercolor drawings to pair with it of a guidebook of the museums in Paris which is so cool I haven't read this yet but I've just looked at it all of the little like drawings accompanied with it are so pretty and just if you like Paris and you want to see more about the hidden gems to the city. Highly recommend checking this out. I don't even know how I found that. I just found that randomly. <laughs> and then right here next to that, we have two little versions of the New Testament Bible. I just stuck those right there. And moving down from that shelf, we have this shelf, which is basically just all my hardback books that are the same height. And here we have this little glass. It's for watering flowers. And plants but I just thought it was super cute so I it's just sitting there in the corner and then I have my lovely Coraline doll that my grandma made me she's so adorable and cute and I love her so much we have at the edge of summer by Jessica Brockmole the age of light by 
Whitney Fur, The Errors by Susan Reger, The Night Ocean by Paul Lafarre, The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chotsky, The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black, and illustrated by Ravani Kai. Realm Breaker, also by Victoria Aveyard. The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kristen White. The Museum of Extraordinary Things by Alice Hoffman. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Queen's Gambit by Elizabeth Fremantle. Atlantia by Ali Condi. Carnival by Stephanie Garber. Ballroom by Alice Simpson. Again But Better by Christine Riccio. Off the Page by Jody the Colt and Samantha Van Leer. This is just a random book that I want to use to recreate the handbook for the recently deceased in Beetlejuice. So this is just there for now. In the shelf below that one. This one, little notebooks in case I need to write something down real quick. I have this Everyday Bible Memory Devotional for Women. Then another notebook, then another devotional, God is Always With Me. I have little trinkets in here that my mom made me. Some little pressed pennies are in there. This is a little bag where I just store stuff that goes to my computer as well as my camera. Then I just have some word searches from the dollar store. Then we have my camera battery charger, camera battery charger for my DS. Then we have two DS games, Style Savvy Fashion Forward, Style Savvy Friend Setter. Then we have my Game Boy, super old, my 3DS, and this we have my DSi. And then right beside all of these, we have a notebook I have for learning Italian right now. Some words that I've been learning, just writing them down in that little cute notebook. The first actual book on the show, Cleopatra, Empress of the Nile, Poison, the History of Potions, Powders, and Murderous Practitioners by Ben Hubbard, forward by Sophie Hanna. And below that shelf, we have the last and final shelf on the book tour. This shelf has all of the more taller books that I didn't really have a place to fit in with any of the other books that I had organized together, so I just stuffed them down here. But in front, we have this black brim 1876. It is a puzzle mystery game where you have to like solve a murder case. Have not done that. Looking forward to it though. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Wicked. The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West by Gregory Maguire. Walt Disney. The Triumph of the American Imagination by Neil Gabler. Blade of Fortrue by Juliet Marillier. The Angel of Losses by Stephanie Feldman. This is one of the many books that I have bought from the dollar store that I just used to tear out pages of to use for art projects but this is The Strays by Emily Beto. A Hundred Small Lessons by Ashley Hay. From the Twilight Zone by Rod Serling. This is a book of some episodes written in story form of the episodes and they're in here. I found this along with the Agatha Christie novel at that yard sale so this was a really cool find. The Shadow Behind the Stars by Rebecca Hahn. The Clancy's of Queen by Tara Clancy. Nancy. Yet another copy of a Wrinkle in Time book. This is A Swiftly Tilting Planet by Madeline Langell. This I found at a, I think it was either an antique store or that antique bookstore, but I found this before I got the box set. I just decided to keep this because it's really cool to have an old edition of books. Girl in the Dark by Anna Lindsay. And the last book I have, my copy of the Bible. Over here I have another devotional book, Delight Yourself in the Lord, Psalms 37, 4, Bible Promises, Journal for Women. These are just random notebooks that I have over here. And lastly, there's this Loving Prayers for You book. And that is my bookshelf tour. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in a new video soon. Bye! By Herman Met the near by the the amazing spy, but I highly should Jessica. Here's an ant. And lastly, yeah, they are right there. William Shakespeare's Star Wars. Whoa, second version coming out. Second version. <gasps> I'm glad that didn't mess, mess anything up because you can't get this copy anymore. This is no longer, this copy is rare. I gotta protect it. An illustrated guide to the city's Hemet. Oh, wow. And then the little, <laughs> I've been doing this too long. Five, five.
five seconds of the song. Ugh, what? <laughs> Moving on.